Hey everybody, this is Mr. Baker from Mr. Baker and Mr. Stark's Algebra 1 classes. This is the video for solving equations, one-step equations with addition or subtraction, the standard A according to your syllabus. Let's start. Let's first remember first grade. Remember how nice your first grade teacher was? Remember how good that was? Let's take a step back into first grade and remind you of something you did then. Uh, when you were in first grade, you probably got a worksheet that said something like this. Blank plus 6 equals 10. And you were using that for your addition facts. And you probably counted to 6 and then you used your fingers to count a little bit more. She said, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you counted up till you got to ten more. One, two, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. One, two, three, four extras right there. Okay, I got a four. That's how you sounded as a kid, right? Um, and so you said, hey, four plus six is ten. And you found an you know, unknown value there. And you said, no big deal. I know my addition facts. So what happens when we replace a blank with a variable? You freak out. Well, some of you. But it's no different. It's the same thought process. When you were in first grade, you had to find out what added to 6 to equal 10. You're doing the same thing in algebra. Solving an equation is just about defining or determining a single or a set of possibilities for an unknown value. There's a number we don't know what it is, and if it's an inequality, we're going to find out what number that can be. If it's an, if it's an equation, we're going to find out what number that can be. If it's an inequality, we're going to find out several numbers that might be. Uh, here's some examples. We have x plus 4 equals 6. Uh, you know, as a reminder, in first grade you see blank plus 4. We're still finding the same thing. We need to know what that number might be. Uh, but here's the difference, and here's why we did that first grade stuff first, is we're not just going to do this in our head or with fingers anymore. We're going to apply the algebra principles to it. And in algebra, what we do is we get the x quote by itself, and we use properties of equality to keep both sides of an equation the same, uh, but to rearrange some of our numbers. So in algebra, instead of just counting up until we get to 6, um, when we're dealing with addition and subtraction, we're going to add or subtract numbers from one side to isolate a variable that makes 0. So you see positive 4 and negative 4, that makes a 0. Uh, so you may have seen before that your, your teacher crossed that out there and they just said cancel. The reason that's canceling is because positive 4 and negative 4 equal 0. That's the reason we do that. That's the reason we make it cancel. Um, so then we're left with just x over on the left side of the equation. We don't write the 0. And 6 minus 4 is 2. So yes, on these one-step equations, you can do these in your head. But we're going to show the work. We're going to show the where we add or subtract so that when we get to ones with multiple steps that you'll be able to do that, you'll have some tools to do it. Um, we, that's why we start with these ones that look like the same from first grade. Let's go into the next one. 6 minus x equals 7. Um, sometimes we, we want to add or subtract the x to both sides.
negative x and positive x also equal 0. So then I'm left with 6 equals 7 plus x. Remember when we were simplifying expressions with the distributive property, we didn't add those because they're not like terms. So we're just going to say that they're being added. Um, and then I got to get my x by itself. So I can make a 0 with 7 if I subtract 7. 7 minus 7 is 0. And then 6 minus 7 is negative 1. Two more. Something plus 13 equals 20. If you know your addition facts at all, you know that number is 7. But let's do that with algebra. Make a 0 with your 13 there. Make a 0. 13 minus 13 will be 0. Do that on both sides of the equal sign. That's a 0 now. I have an x left over, and 20 minus 13 equals 7. Last one. 40 plus a number is the same as 60. This is something that, that I might do when me and Mr. Starks make copies, too. Let's say there were 60 of you in our class, and I knew that I had 40 in my class, so I made, I made 60 copies for, for both of our classes, because we're all doing the same stuff. And I made 40 copies for my class. I need to know how much... I, I know I had 40 in my class. I need to know how many I need to count out for Mr. Starks, maybe. So, I would figure out how many are in his class. You probably know on the top of your head that that number is 20, but let's do it with algebra. Make a 0 with the 40. Forty minus forty is zero. Subtract forty over here too. On both sides of the equal sign, that's a zero, so we can cancel it. X is left over, and sixty minus forty is twenty. All right. So remember, most of these you can do in your head, and I understand that. And if you have that skill, that's good. That's a good mental math skill. The important skill we're building is using algebraic properties. Those are what you'll need to move on and do the harder equations.